According to the U.S. Concealed Carry Association, Georgia has issued roughly one million gun permits. Open carry and concealed carry are legal here, with a Georgia weapons carry license or a concealed carry permit from a state Georgia honors. But some areas are off limits, including schools and courthouses. Jerry Henry, executive director at Georgia Carry, and Jeffrey Saxby, one of the partners at Hall Booth Smith, joined us to explain the complexities of Georgia's gun laws. What's your opinion on whether businesses should or, or how they can sort of influence gun policy? Well, it's a, it's a free country. They can do what they want to. It's private property. And uh, most of the companies that weighed in said they just didn't want you openly carrying. They didn't say you couldn't carry on your property. They said don't openly carry where people can see it. I believe that the best way is to carry it openly so people know you have a firearm and they don't mess with you. But that's my firm opinion. But due to the fact that it's private property, the uh, employers can do whatever they want to do. Um, is there a responsibility for, for companies to kind of take proactive steps? Um, currently, no, because like I said, we, we live in a, a right to carry state. Um, as you know, certain businesses will just automatically restrict. You're not coming into my bar carrying a gun. That's, that's statutory. That's Georgia law. Um, for the private businesses, uh, once again, unless they have some reason to know that their customers, you know, pose some form of threat to other customers, you know, involving a handgun, there's no real proactive measure they have to take in that regard. If something happens uh, on uh, a business's campus or in an office building, how liable are the businesses, you know, if something happens in their office? You can have a shooting involving someone from the public. You can have a shooting involving an employee. Uh, generally, when it comes to employees, uh, if that business owner, that manager had some reason to know that there could be a potential issue with an employee. You know, there's been a dispute with customers, dispute with coworkers, and had some reasons to know that that employee had a gun on his person or, you know, in his vehicle close enough for him to access very quickly. Um, that creates potential liability for that employer. Um, generally, failure to supervise, failure to keep the premises reasonably safe. Now, with respect to the public, of course, it's different. You can't really control that unless you exclude firearms from your property uh, just totally. Well, by, by law in Georgia, uh, the, the owner of the property is not held liable in the case of someone coming onto their property. For instance, somebody comes into a restaurant as a customer and they commit a crime, the, the uh, uh, business owner is not responsible for that. What's your expectations? What would you like to see, you know, in the two, three years down the road with regards to policy um, and, and just new rules for, for guns? What would you like to see? Well, there's several things I'd like to see. One thing I'd like to be able to, to do like the criminals do. Criminals carry anywhere they want to. I'd like to be able to carry anywhere I want to. Uh, and I understand that, that there's laws against it, but the criminals don't care. I want to protect myself and my family anywhere I, I go. I want that ability to do that. And if the property owner or if the government uh, cannot keep me safe, then I should be able to be my own security. From a lawyer standpoint, we don't really take a position. That's up to the uh, legislature and our, and our courts. <laughs> um, as a individual gun owner, um, concealed carry permit owner, um, I feel that I should be able to take my gun as many places as I want if I feel the need. But I also recognize that a property owner or, of course, the government institutions, nuclear power plants, you know, should exclude and have the right to exclude. And if they feel that they don't want guns on the premises, I need to leave mine in my car until I leave. And I feel the same way about private property. I don't feel the same way about government property, but I do feel the same way about private property. The guy that bought the property invests his money, he can do what he wants to as long as it's not illegal.